Hi everybody, this is Matt McCoy from Loop Community. And today I'm going to show you how you could take a loop and kind of chop it up and make it into your own custom arrangement. So what I'm going to do is for this in Ableton, I'm going to go to Arrangement View. You can hit the little icon up here in the top right corner. Or you could hit the Tab key. Arrangement View um, works more horizontally. So you've got your audio tracks, but then it runs down this timeline from left to right. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna drag my loop in. We're gonna use Forever Rain. And we're gonna drag in the stereo loop file here. And I'm also gonna drag in the Q file because that's gonna help me find the different sections in the song. Okay, great. Actually, let's go ahead and name those tracks. So I'm gonna right click and rename this to Loop. And we will right click and rename this one to Qs. And I can hit play. If I turn my click on, you'll notice that it's not in time. So it's important before we do this that we set the tempo up here to what the original tempo is. So I know it's 83 because in the file name, it says Forever Rain, key of C, 83. So I'm going to type in 83 and hit enter. And you can actually see how it kind of locked everything to the grid. Let's hit play again. Intro, two, cool. three, four. See how those line up right to the bar? Cool. Now before I'm going to chop this up and make my own arrangement, I'm going to go ahead and just add locators. So there's a little button here that says set. And when I hit the button set, what it's going to do is it's going to add a little flag, a locator, for wherever my cursor is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a locator for all these different sections. So uh, this one's intro, so I'm going to right click and rename this to intro. Um, and let's go ahead and click up here and hit play and listen to what this is. Verse two, three, cool. Four. I'll hit the set button. Right click. Call it verse. So I can kind of skip ahead. This is where having those cues in there is helpful because I can kind of see where the next section of the song is. Verse two, this is another three, verse. Four. And let's see what's up here. Build it up. Down chorus. Two, three, Down chorus. Four. So basically, you're going to do this for the entire song. Interlude. Two, three, four. Verse. Two, three, Here's a verse. Four. Verse two. Now let's do just a couple more here. Chorus. Two, three, four. And let's do the bridge. Bridge, two, three, four. Back into the chorus. Bridge, build it up, three, four. It's the second bridge. So where's the chorus at? Down the chorus, two, there it is. three, four. Okay, cool. So once you have all these locators in place, it's worth doing that because now I can kind of easily see where the different sections of the songs are, where the song is. So it'd be very confusing if I didn't have those because I'd have to just remember, okay, yeah, verses bar 20 through 30. So now what you can do is you can actually break this up into what you want to do, just like your normal audio editor. So let's just say you're like, yeah, I don't want to do this verse here. You could highlight this entire section and then just hit delete on your keyboard. Now what you'll notice though, is it just kind of made an empty space here. What we want to do is we want to actually remove this time completely because we want all these locators to shift over with us. So I'm going to use this loop bracket here. I'm going to set it in the section. I'm going to right click and go, I'm going to go to delete time. And it actually sh it got rid of all that section and it also moved all my locators over for me. So now I got rid of that verse. And let's just say also I want to, uh, this course here, I actually want to do two of them. So I'm going to use that loop bracket again. And I'm going to select my chorus section. And this time I'm going to right click and go to duplicate time. And you'll see it actually put another chorus in there for me. So, you know, just with a few steps, you can actually create your own 
loop arrangement of what you want. And when you're ready and you like those, you can go ahead and export it. So I'm going to highlight this section. I'm going to mute the cues. We don't need the cues. Highlight the section and go to File, Export Audio. And we'll just go and save this as a new WAV file. And we'll just call it, you know, Matt's custom version of Forever Rain. You can also highlight this, right click, and consolidate. And what that's going to do is it's going to take all those little broken clips and glue them together. So now it's one clip. Do the same for the cue file if you still want to use those cues. You go and select everything here. Consolidate. And once that's done, you can actually take those if you want. And I just hit the tab key and I'm going to drop them into session view. And now they're ready to go for my worship set. Or you can also click and drag them to that icon and then drop them over. And there's my new custom arrangement of Forever Rain. Four. Pretty simple. Hope that gives you guys some ideas. I'm glad you're part of the community.